Let's see how this cow reticulated python is doing. Oh, she is definitely still angry. She's supposed to be a really tame animal. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog and another amazing day. What do you say we head into the reptarium? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. Every time you gotta walk into the zoo or BHP or something like that, you're always a little bit squinting your eyes like, I hope everything's okay. You know, I don't know. I think that people that keep reptiles or keep animals understand that feeling. Like, you never know what's gonna happen. Is the power gonna be out? Is the water gonna be leaking? Did I leave a cage open? We try to check the locks every night. But every time I come in, it's always like that thing. And look at Bella. As soon as I walk in, she perks up like, hey, daddy. But you know, you walk into a place and you always just wanna go, all right, problem solved. The first thing you wanna do is just kind of look around, you know, make sure everything is good. And I always talk about using all your senses. Listen to make sure that like a waterfall feature isn't working or something like that. Smell to make sure that nothing smells unusual and then keep your eyes open and look around. So far, everything looks absolutely amazing, which is usually the case, but you know, you gotta always be prepared for anything. So we have a pretty busy day today, but it's gonna be awesome. And I always do the same thing here at BHV. The first thing I do is kind of come in, walk around, make sure that everything is looking good, smell Smelling good, acting good, all that stuff. Take a look at this cute little ogno snake right here. Ooh, doggy, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. And again, as an animal keeper, it's super important to be really perceptive. Look around and make sure everything's okay every day. I mean, take a look at this jungle carpet python right here. Ooh, doggy, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. But I think a lot of people make that mistake, right? They come in and they're like, oh, I have to clean this bank of cages. And then they don't really even look at the other things. It's important to kind of perceive everything Thing every day just so that you can make sure everything is in good shape and I know it can drive my crew crazy sometimes I can walk into a room and within like 10 seconds I can find like something that is wrong just because I've been doing it so long and again I use all my senses to kind of see what's going on let's see how this cow reticulated python is doing. oh she is definitely still angry who doggy uh, I am a little bit concerned about this one she's supposed to be a really tame animal Whoa, claw down, girl. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just close that up and uh, come back to her later. Uh, hopefully she's gonna calm down. Perdita was never like that. Oh my God, cow reticulated pythons are usually so docile. Oh, I've got my work cut out for her. We'll get her tamed down, but we definitely have to work on that for sure. Once again, my guy Bowser is out and about. Again, good sign. I'll go ahead and try to offer him food probably in the next day or two. Just let him kind of wake up just a little bit more before we go too crazy with it. But I know he's gonna be eating soon. A lot of you guys have been asking me like, can you feed Bowser while he's been off of food? But he's gonna be back on the food in no time. Good morning, RJ. How are you, buddy? Love you. I might actually bring RJ over to the Reptarium tonight. I'm not really sure. So we actually have two tours this morning and then we of course are open for the Reptarium tonight. So uh, definitely a busy day. I think my first tour is here in about 15 or 20 minutes. My girl Lucy is hanging out in the water and Titan is, where is Titan? Is he over here? Oh, there's Titan, yep. Titan is still up in the tree. He hasn't come down yet. He needs to get down and breathe, Lucy. But he's just hanging out here up in the tree. And that's one of the things I always find really interesting. People always talk about like, you need really large cages, which I do love to have large cages for my animals now. But the truth is, a lot of times, they just cram right up in a corner, just like Titan over here, and then they just never move. It's just kind of weird. But it is nice. I'm sure he will get used to it, and he'll roam around, and hopefully, he'll breathe my girl Lucy pretty soon. Well, welcome, guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, happy Happy birthday to you, Thank by you. the way. Thank, Thank you so much. Where are you guys from? Uh, Redford. Redford. So you guys are close. Redford. That's awesome. Got sunrise out, and sunrise seems to want to go in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And you said this is the biggest snake that you've yeah, had. Yeah, biggest snake I've before. biggest snake I've ever had. Like I said, I had about a seven, eight foot red tail boa, and I used to let her put her in my tub and just let her go around the tub. But this is and it's pure muscle. It's, it's I've never seen, I've never had something this big. You can tell your friends you held an anaconda. Bella always is Look at uh, you, a fan girl. favorite. Definitely gets a lot of attention, girl. Hi. <laughs> it's funny, she saw him. She Look just came I running down. <laughs> just running down for you guys. Hi, uh, baby. What do you think? Um, you were a little she's bit amazing. scary. You're a little bit freaky. Well, he's guy. amazing. You're doing good. It's just wrapping up, and guess what? Someone is ending up taking a new snake home, a beautiful pastel sugar ball python. He actually has a bumblebee, which is a pastel spider ball python, so it's going to make a beautiful animal. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. I really Thank do you, appreciate Brian. it. Thank you. Uh, definitely stay in touch, and you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank we you. enjoyed Thanks, it guys. very much. 
Still have lots of stuff breeding here. That's actually a super enchi yellow belly bred to an enchi orange dream. So we should be able to get some super enchi orange dreams out of it. That'll be really awesome. Whew, I'm excited about that breeding right there. That is actually a pastel leopard clown being bred to a pastel leopard clown. Ooh, doggy, that's gonna be a good clutch. And that's actually a bamboo woma being bred to a lemon blast vanilla. Again, some pretty cool baby potentials there. That one's actually a banana enchi bred to an enchi pinstripe. So we could actually produce some super enchi banana pinstripes, which would be awesome. That's actually a pretty interesting breeding. That's a banana super enchi pinstripe bred to a blue-eyed leucistic, which is a lesser, lesser. So everything is going to be lessers, everything is going to be enchi, and then there could be banana and pinstripes in there. And another pretty awesome clutch on the way. That's actually an albino clown bred to an enchi het albino clown. So we could potentially get some albino enchi clowns. How awesome is that? I tell you what, this is the biggest breeding day we've had so far. We have about 80% of the females hooked up. I left a lot of them alone, but wow. And I think it's because tomorrow we have a big storm coming through. And I've talked to you guys about this before, where barometric pressure changes really spurs on breeding. So holy cow, this was an awesome day for breeding when it comes to pythons. Got my second tour. Another local tour, which is really cool. Yep. You guys aren't too far away which is fantastic. And we started off with Nova today. Uh, look at Nova, he's getting some love. It's so cute, ready. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let you pick the next animal. What, what are we gonna take? I've been excited for Bella this Bella? whole time. Okay, let's go see <laughs> Bella. It's banana time for Bella. Bella, look it. Come on, girl, you want a banana, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> <Good> girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been awesome. it's pretty amazing how big our lychee is getting. Of course, this is big Bertha. She is just incredible. I mean, it's just such a yeah. glamour. Once again, we're ending the tour with Casper. Yeah. It's bringing families okay, together. Get in the middle. You guys have fun? Oh, so yes, much fun. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so, so it's much. It's awesome, eh? you guys are... <laughs> yes. Oh, now you got left out. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, great times. Tours are done. Definitely an absolutely amazing morning. I had a great time. Bruce over here just uh, doing some tarantula stuff. This is how you gotta miss the goody sapphire here. So she don't dart out. <laughs> yeah, so she doesn't dart out, but they, they need higher humidity. What a beautiful tarantula. Oh my gosh, how incredible is that? So just getting our last minute things done here at the Reptarium. We're open up in about a half hour or so. I'm gonna shoot over to BHB and see what's going on over there. So Laura, I wanted to tell you, obviously I'm leaving in a couple days. You're gonna be all set for about a week. Yes. Okay, basically I'm going down to Orlando for playlists to do a bunch of other cool stuff too. We're gonna do some collabs over at Gatorland, do some other animal adventure stuff, and I have an animal I'm picking up on the way back that is a secret. Corey knows about it, but I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you guys. So it's, and really a lot of why I'm driving down to playlists rather than flying is because on the way back I wanna pick this animal up. Super excited about it. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I'll take you guys on that adventure and stuff like that. And then Noah is leaving for Europe. Yeah, Noah's leaving for Europe on Thursday. So you're um, gonna be all alone. All alone, and I get to dog sit. Oh, that's right. Our grand dog. <laughs> that's right, because my daughter Jade is going to Europe with Noah. They're doing like England, Scotland, and Ireland. Yes. And Miko the Husky stays with Lori, so yeah. good news. And then news Brian is conveniently goes out of town. I don't want to have to deal with that dog. That dog's insane. No, we love it. We love our grand dog, but I'm glad I'm not going to be here for it. I'm going to be honest with you. So again, a couple days from now, I leave for the trip down. I'm going to hit Forest Place on the way down, maybe one other place. Then I'm going to hit Orlando, do a few days in Orlando, then head back, stop for my special animal, and then I'll be back to the Reptarium. So I'm going to be gone like, I don't know, six to eight days. Not even 100% sure yet. So I'm going to be excited. You're going to be okay without me. I'm, I know you're always a wreck when I'm not around. I know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she won't miss me at all. <laughs> it's that time, guys. Let's go ahead and open up the reptarium. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys know that I always think like, no one's gonna show up today. Tonight, I have a prediction that it's gonna be completely a gong show. Lots of people have come by all morning, kind of like, oh, when are you open, when are you open? The phone's been ringing off the hook. My prediction is tonight is gonna be insane. Cannot wait for it to happen, but uh, let's go ahead and get this party started. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> that, was, that was really enthusiastic. Wow. Let's go ahead and open up. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? Hi, Hi, how are you? How's it going? Come on in, guys. Come on in. How are you? Come on in. How are you? Come on in. She's back. Hi guys. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. Good to see you guys. Hi. How's it going? Hi. How are you? Hi guys. How are you? How's everything? Hey. Good. Welcome. 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 And I told you guys, I thought it was going to be Gong Show in here tonight. Definitely a lot of people. A lot of people all over the place. We have salt out right now. You guys, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. What do you think of salt? 
I think he's really cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I mentioned, we're having a great time. Sunrise is out, and guess what? We have someone special in us. We actually have like three or four people that it's their birthday that I met already. But Amy over here is it's your birthday girl, yeah. and you're coming with me. And she has never held a snake, no snake at all. None, never. But you're not afraid of them. No, not and you're at all. excited for the opportunity. Yes. Okay, so Lori, do the honors. All right, step right up. Here you go. And you get to meet our beautiful Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. What do you think? What is, what's the first reaction to holding your first snake? Um, it feels kind of weird. They're a lot more solid yeah. than I thought they'd be. A lot of be. muscle, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. super cool. Well, there you go. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, this is the part of the rock term I love more than anything is when people actually get to hold their first snake. I mean, how freaking awesome is that? And for it to be sunrise it is even more cool. That's awesome. So you always know it's a busy night when Lori has to pitch in to help out. So Lori's been here kind of manning the sunrise station all night. So your guns were getting worked out because you were always. holding. Oh my God. Why oh did God. it seem so busy tonight? I mean. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I, I think, I knew from yesterday that today was going to be busy. It's just the way it goes, so. Yeah. Yeah, the last two weekends have been awesome. Just unbelievably humbling for us. So I can't believe it. Keep going back to when we first opened and I told Lori that we'd be lucky to have like 20 or 30 people in that. Come? What 20 if or 30 comes? I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> and then it's back. So, <laughs> regardless, uh, I think Lori's about to butt out and then take it over because it's starting to finally calm down here at the Reptarium. So, it's been about two and a half hours since I picked my camera up because it's just been absolutely crazy in here. Everyone else just hanging out, checking out Powell's over here, having a good time. Again, just an absolutely uh, fun, fun, fun filled night, but definitely really crazy. Again, just starting to kind of slow down, taking a little bit of a breath, like, okay, let's see what's going on. We got Flaming Hot Cheeto out over here. Let's see, we got Bruce's corner over here. Bruce has got to have some tarantulas out. Love. I knew it. <coughs> Ever have any Bruce issues with it? <laughs> Regardless, I think we're probably about a half an hour away from close, but uh, what an amazingly crazy night. It's definitely been a good one. Whew. But I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you. Even my energy is kind of drained tonight. So here's the deal. You were like pretty terrified, right? And you wouldn't hold anything. And you were holding everything. You were so amazing. And you were like, no, 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 no. And you're telling me that you just held something. Do you have proof of it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. You did it. Give this is my dream. Right. I get to be on one of your videos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Big you guys are both awesome. Thank you guys. Okay. You okay? Don't you're worry okay. about it. Don't worry about you're it. You're okay. It's good. What do you think? Oh my gosh, thank you Cora for sharing this with me. Oh, look at his little eyes, he's looking right at me. Ooh, doggy, back over at BHB and kind of wrapping up the night. You know, I've kind of run out of adjectives just to tell you how unbelievably humbled and blown away how well things are going at the Reptarium and everything else. I mean, it's like a dream come true. It is a dream come true. So thank you guys, and I hope that you guys are enjoying coming on the journey. I try to share as much as I possibly can without absolutely boring you to death with the same old same old but it was an absolutely unbelievable night so amazing so many people held their first snake so many people had a great time we had a great time so there it is i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you have an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching this vlog because your support means the world to me and truly i love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video which is every day seven days a week at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Make a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.